Machines allow us to do things that would normally be too difficult or impossible to physically do by ourselves. They allow us to perform tasks quickly and more efficiently. Most are built to be useful, but sometimes we build machines just because they're cool. We use machines to gain some kind of benefit, and that benefit depends on the type of machine. In this video, we'll explore the benefits and the trade-offs of one simple machine called the lever. A lever is a simple machine that has many uses. Not only can it be used to move heavy objects, it can also be used to launch projectiles over long distances. At first glance, a lever acts just the same as any other lever. They're all made up of two important parts, the rigid bar and a fulcrum. Every lever is made up of some kind of sturdy material. The less it bends, the better. Every lever also needs to have a fulcrum, which is the pivot point where the lever will rotate around. So, if all levers have these two parts, the rigid bar and the fulcrum, how could they possibly act differently? I mean, a lever is a lever, right? Well, that's true, but we can categorize them based on how they're used. When we use a lever, we apply a force called the effort, somewhere along the rigid bar in order to move a load, called the resistance. As we apply the effort, both the effort and resistance rotate around the fulcrum. By placing the effort, the resistance, and the fulcrum in different spots along the rigid bar, we change the class of the lever. When the fulcrum is placed between the effort and the resistance, we get a first class lever. When the resistance is placed in the middle, we get a second class lever. And finally, when the effort is in the middle, we get a third class lever. Each of the different classes of levers have their benefits and trade-offs. The helpfulness or usefulness of a simple machine is called its mechanical advantage. A lever's ideal mechanical advantage, which neglects things like friction, is a numerical value that we calculate using the formula LE over LR, or effort length over the resistance length. The effort length is the distance from the effort to the fulcrum, and the resistance length is the distance from the resistance to the fulcrum. When mechanical advantage is greater than 1, the benefit is a greater force produced compared to the force that's applied. In other words, it makes it easier to move something. A crowbar is a great example of this. It makes it easier to pull things apart. When mechanical advantage is less than 1, the trade-off is it actually needs more force to be applied compared to the force that's produced. Rather than making it easier, the benefit of having a mechanical advantage less than 1 is actually an increased range of motion. A trebuchet uses this to fling a rock over great distances. When mechanical advantage is equal to 1, we don't get the benefits or trade-off of a greater force or a range of motion. Instead, it allows us to change the direction of the applied force. Take a look around and see if you can spot some different classes of levers around you. Levers may be classified as simple machines, but hopefully, you can appreciate how even simple things can be so useful.